Many people, as they get older, may notice changes in memory and thinking abilities. At first, these changes may be so subtle that they're easy to explain away as normal aging. And they may be. However, it's also possible that they're the earliest symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease, or AD, is the most common form of dementia and accounts for 60% to 80% of all cases of dementia. In the United States alone, it is thought that one person develops AD every 66 seconds on average. In the early stages, people with AD may notice everyday tasks becoming more difficult to perform than before. Some typical early symptoms of AD you may notice include facing increased problems with memory, struggling to find the right words for things, becoming confused about time or place, having trouble managing money or paying bills, experiencing changes in mood, personality or judgment, misplacing or being unable to find things. The symptoms of AD arise because of slow ongoing injury to different parts of the brain. This injury, which affects nerve cells, is believed to be the result of two different processes that occur in the brains of people with AD. One involves a protein called amyloid beta, or A-beta, and the other involves a protein named tau. In the first of these processes, A-beta starts to collect inside the brain. This may begin as many as 20 years before the first signs of AD appear. A-beta is produced inside the brains of all people, but in healthy people, it is removed by the body before it can cause harm. In the brains of people with AD, A-beta clumps together in bigger and bigger groups and forms clusters known as plaques. As time goes on, plaques begin to form in more and more parts of the brain, which are responsible for learning, memory and other tasks. The second process, involving tau protein, begins about 15 years before the first signs of AD appear. Tau normally plays a helpful role in the brain. However, in people with AD, tau becomes altered and forms tangles within nerve cells. Eventually, the processes involving A beta and tau can injure nerve cells. As this injury affects one brain region after another, it leads to the appearance of symptoms you may recognize. AD is a disease that progresses over time, leading to worsening symptoms and can ultimately cause death. However, studies suggest that early diagnosis and intervention could potentially slow the course of AD and may help protect the brain from further injury. Furthermore, an early diagnosis allows you to consider participating in a clinical study investigating new potential treatments. Today, there are tools available that might help doctors diagnose AD in its early stages, including various lab tests, written tests and interviews. To confirm whether you have AD, your doctor may order an imaging study known as PET-CT, which can spot A-beta plaques inside the brain. Your doctor may also request a procedure to test a sample of your spinal fluid for abnormal levels of A-beta and tau. Spinal fluid is a clear, colourless body fluid found in the brain and spine. Currently, the only approved therapies for AD help address some of its more advanced symptoms. However, there are ongoing efforts to develop treatments that, if approved, may delay, stop or prevent the progression of AD. In addition, studies suggest that a lifestyle that includes a healthy diet, regular exercise, social interaction, and cognitive stimulation may be helpful. For decades, a large and growing community of healthcare providers, research scientists, universities, patient advocacy organizations, and pharmaceutical companies has been committed to battling this disease, and their efforts yield promising new discoveries with each passing year. Over 500 clinical studies with many thousands of participants across the globe are helping to advance our understanding and potential treatment of AD. In the fight against AD, you are not alone.